Welcome to our Wilmington College campus. This is College Hall, our oldest building on campus and one of our county's most treasured landmarks. College Hall houses our Office of Admission, the Office of our President, our Registrar's Office, our Business Office. It also houses several classrooms that you will probably experience during your time here at Wilmington College. The Quakers founded the college here in College Hall in 1870, having purchased the building from the city of Wilmington at a public auction. This is the Wilmington College Rock. It has been here since 1906. Uh, no one really knows how it got here or where it's from. Uh, some say that it was brought here by students from a prank. Uh, they use horsebacks. Others say by a steam engine. But the way that it works is that students are allowed to rent out the rock, in which case they can paint uh, whatever drawing they'd like or whatever message as you see now, and it'd be displayed in front of the whole campus for as long as possible. But we do ask that uh, you keep it very appropriate. We know that we shouldn't have to, but you would be surprised. Wellington's Watson Library is a place for students to get what they need to be successful in the classroom. Dedicated in 1941 and named after our 11th college president, Shepard Watson, Watson Library has provided students for decades a place to come, relax, and learn. Students can find that they have access to computer labs, meeting spaces, and of course, our very helpful librarian staff. They can find resources all across the state as Wilmington participates in OhioLink as well as a variety of other articles they may need to be successful in the classroom. Students have the opportunity to meet with resource librarians to help them and guide them through their projects. And it's also a nice place, quiet place, for students to come and just relax. The Peace Resource Center is reflective of the many Quaker values that we hold here at Wilmington College. It houses the most information outside of Japan of the atomic bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki in the form of books, films, and personal accounts. It is available for research as well as students to have a quiet place to study. The Boyd Cultural Arts Center is dedicated in memory of Oscar J. Boyd, who served as a professor of chemistry for nearly 50 years. It houses our theater and music departments, and it also is the home of the Hugh Highland Theater. The Hugh Highland Theater is named in memory and in honor of Hugh Highland, who served Wilmington College in the areas of theater and oral communication. Wilmington College has a history, a long history, of producing wonderful musicals and plays, not only for the campus, but for the community. The Boyd Cultural Arts Center is also home to the Harkham Art Gallery, giving our students and renowned local and national artists the opportunity to display their work. The exhibits are open to the public. The Boyd Cultural Arts Center is also the home of the Miriam R. Hare Quaker Heritage Center. The center celebrates local, regional, and national Quaker history. We also host exhibits and programs that highlight the history of the Quaker Church and how it has influenced our culture. In honor of our Quaker heritage, Wilmington College has built on our campus an older friends meeting house. And while being a Quaker is certainly not required to attend Wilmington College, we do have the Quaker House in a worship service that meets weekly for students and faculty and staff who want to attend. Kelly Center, the home of our religion and philosophy programs as well as our humanities programs. It also houses our Wilmington Friends Yearly Meeting. Kelly Center provides our students and campus community a place where they can hold events, organize, and gather. It gives our student organizations the opportunity to hold their events to include our campus community at large. Kelly Center also offers a variety of programs and events open to the community and a space that can be utilized as well as a space that can be utilized for classrooms. This is the Withrow Center for Agricultural Life and Physical Sciences, formerly known as the CSA. This building supports our students pursuing degrees within STEM, math, and the sciences. This center is one of the two newest buildings on campus, providing state-of-the-art dedicated laboratory spaces for our students to truly experience uninterrupted hands-on coursework starting year one of their education. The first floor houses office spaces for our professors in biology and agriculture. It also includes a secondary dining option for students on the go, a wet lab for our ag students, two lecture halls, and a beautiful biology lab that spans the entire length of the first floor. The second floor provides office space for our chemistry and math departments, full chemistry and physics labs, 
classroom space, as well as a math center for students to receive academic support. Additionally, the Withrow Center includes food science lab spaces and two attached greenhouses, which provide both seasonal florals and produce for educational student and campus use. This part of the tour, we want to welcome you and show you the Robinson Communication Center, known as the RCC. Real quick, we're going to walk in here. I'm going to show you some cool features. Come on inside. One of the many benefits that we have in the RCC is our Student Success Lounge, where we offer our mental health services, student success coaches, and other services for our students. Also in the RCC, this is our Student Resource Center. This is where we provide tutoring, supplemental instructions, and accommodations for those students in those academic areas, of all areas. We also have a writing center that's provided for students free of charge. In the RCC, we have over 60 different computers in our computer labs that are both used for students and professors for teaching and learning. One of the unique things that we have here in the RCC is our Quake radio station that is ran and produced by our students. Welcome to the Quaker Cupboard. This is another service that we have here in the RCC. This is a service that is provided by all donations from our students to our students. Anybody that needs an item, they're free to come here and be able to pick that item up. Right now I'm standing outside of Herman Court, home of our athletics here at Wilmington College. Let me go inside and show you around. This is Herman Court, home to many of our athletic teams here on campus. Men's and women's basketball, women's volleyball, wrestling, and cheer, just to name a few. Wilmington College is a member of the NCAA and competes in the OAC as a Division III institution. Herman Court has lots to offer, including athletic coaches' offices, a weight room, locker rooms, an auxiliary gym, racquetball courts, pool, and two classrooms that are mainly utilized by our sports management students. Also, Herman Court is used for Wilmington College's commencement in the spring. We look forward to hopefully seeing you receive that diploma in a few years. As mentioned earlier, this is Wilmington College's campus pool, home to our men's and women's swim team and our club water polo team. There are designated hours that are open for all students and staff so they can come in and enjoy the pool as well. Behind me is Williams Stadium, home turf for our football, men's and women's soccer teams, men's and women's track and field, and men's lacrosse. Behind the tree line is also the home fields for our baseball and softball teams here on campus. All the athletic events are free for all students with their student ID. Welcome to the Quaker Recreation Center, known as the QRC. The QRC offers a group fitness room with a variety of cardio machines, including other equipment such as our free weights. There are Quaker Fit classes that are conducted in the group fitness room. The QRC also houses our athletic office with coaches offices, as well as our Wilmington College wrestling practice room. A newly addition added to the QRC is our student health center. That provides medical and mental health services to our Wilmington College students free of charge. Our Center for Sports Sciences receives national attention for a couple of reasons. Number one, the nationally recognized programs that Wilmington College offers in the sports sciences and for the relationship that we've built with four medical practices that are here on our campus, giving our students the opportunity to do job shadowing, field practica, clinicals, and rotations. Also housed in our Center for Sports Sciences is our athletic training clinic, coupled with our certified athletic trainers this gives our students who are studying athletic training the opportunity for hands-on learning experiences within the field of athletic training. Our clinic also provides the care and the attention that our athletes need should they be injured during their time here at Wilmington College. Another great facet of our Center for Sports Sciences is our indoor practice field, providing our Wilmington College athletes the opportunity to practice and to improve their game in and out of season. Wilmington College is a residential campus, providing housing for around 85% of our student body. Let's take a look inside of our first year residence hall, Austin Pickett. This is what a standard double room looks like in our resident hall known as Austin Pickett. Today we're sitting inside of our showroom to give you an idea of what you can do to add your own personal flair to a room and make it uniquely your style. The rooms in Austin Pickett come with a few essential amenities like two beds, wardrobe closets, desks and chairs for study space. Additionally, students are welcome to bring things like mini fridges, TVs and other types of entertainment to once again give yourself and your room a little extra flair. 
outside of the room, students do have the opportunity to have some common spaces to hang out with fellow classmates. There are free laundry services in this building as well, and some extra study spaces that include desktop computers and printers. The really great thing about your experience here at Wilmington is that you have the opportunity to choose your roommate all four years of your experience. A really great way as an incoming freshman to find someone you might want to room with is by utilizing our Zemi app. Zemi is a great opportunity for you as an incoming freshman to visit with other students looking at Wilmington College and find someone that you jive with or maybe have the same academic major as you. The other option is to use our housing application, which helps match you with other students that have similar interests and similar personalities. In addition to the first year residence hall, Wilmington College also provides housing to our upperclassmen. We have preferred housing in both residence hall structures and in two apartment complexes, like the one behind me. Over the next several years, Wilmington College will be providing significant improvements to our residence hall structures. Pyle Center for Students, the hub of student activity here on Wilmington College's campus. Let's go inside and check it out. Inside Pyle Center, students will find the offices of our Student Affairs and Dean of Students, Career Services, Diversity and Inclusion, our Student One Stop Center, Student Government Organization, as well as other student organizations. Students will find a hub of activity here in the Pyle Center for Students. It's the one place where students can come and find everything they need in a one-stop shop. It also houses our dining hall. Our dining facility, the Top of Pile, or as students just simply call it, the Top, offers our students and our campus a wide variety of dining options for breakfast, lunch, dinner, and of course, snack time. Students have the capability to utilize their meal plan on their student ID to swipe in and enjoy an all-you-can-eat buffet with a wide variety of options from pizza to burgers to home-cooked meals, students have an opportunity to enjoy their tastes in our dining hall. Also in Pyle Center is our residence life staff, as well as our mailroom and the college bookstore. Our residence life offices are open for students to come and have any questions they may have regarding their meal plan or their college roommate. Also, students have access to a full service mail operation right here on campus, and all of our students, commuter and residential, get a mailbox. So mom and dad or family members can send that care package. Also, students have access to our college bookstore where they can find Wilmington College apparel, snacks for that late night cram session, and of course, their books for class. Also in Pyle Center is our Student One Stop Center. Here, students can find help with financial aid, student account questions, and more. Our helpful Student One Stop staff is here to answer questions of a wide variety. And if they don't have the answer, they'll find it for you. Behind me is the Campus Carillon. This is a treasured landmark of Wilmington and the college. There are 35 bells that chime every hour and every quarter of an hour. The bells were first found at Brussels World Fair in 1958. They were purchased and given to the college by Bessie Goodman in honor of her husband Simon, a longtime merchant and tailor of Wilmington. Welcome to our 267-acre academic farm, located just a mile east of main campus. This fully comprehensive production farmstead is sanctioned for classes in labs, research, and student part-time employment. This acreage is home to three species of livestock year-round, row crop, and specialty crop. The academic farm is utilized daily for our practical labs associated with students studying agriculture or for those students taking an ag-based course. Some examples of our labs include crop and livestock management, species science and reproduction, soil science, horticulture, forage and grain crop, among others. Our equine center, built in 2000, serves our students pursuing a degree in equine and students involved in our writing teams and other equine associated organizations. This 28 stall facility provides full board care for both campus leased horses and student owned horses. The center includes two full tack rooms, a classroom space, indoor and outdoor riding arenas, a round pen, and multiple turnout pastures. Practical labs and courses at the equine center include horsemanship or equitation, beginning through advanced riding, basic equine handling, colt breaking and training, and competitive course design. Additionally, Wilmington College participates in IHSA, having over 42 varsity English or Western writers, contributing to 90 plus writing lessons weekly. The post-World War II boom of higher enrollment in higher education didn't pass up Wilmington College. In 1948, standing at a lectern, Sam Marble, the 12th president of Wilmington College, challenged students 
to build a dormitory that would house the influx of GIs coming to Wilmington's campus. They did just that. Rooted in our Quaker values of service and community and civic engagement, Sam Marble, a group of students and community members across Clinton County and beyond, built the building you see behind me, Marble Hall. Since then, and its dedication in 1950, Marble Hall for decades has housed students here at Wilmington. Marble Hall and the Marble Hall Project gained national notoriety and even a letter from U.S. President Herbert Hoover. Um, this is our campus mall. This is our largest um, green area here on campus. Uh, students here, especially during the warmer months, will be hanging out. They'll be playing frisbee. Uh, they'll be on their hammocks. They'll be studying out here. A lot of our organizations have meetings out here um, and fun activities. Thank you for joining us for these views of our beautiful Wilmington College campus. I hope that you enjoyed it enough that you'll visit us on our website at wilmington.edu visit to schedule an in-person visit soon. Thank you.